Hi friends, I'm Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very very large birthday book haul. So over the past few weeks I've received quite a few packages all from you for my birthday so thank you so so much. I did not expect to ever receive this amount of packages or gifts or because uh, it, it completely amazes me. So thank you all so so much like none of you had to give me gifts like no um but thank you all for giving me gifts like thank you i i don't uh, i yeah i am lost for words lost for words with uh your generosity so thank you so so much for these gifts so today i will be unboxing them all we'll see how well i am how good i am at unboxing books there is no logic to how I'm going to unbox them. There is no rhyme or reason. We're just gonna pick them up and go for it and see see how we go. Oh, so the first one that I've opened, book number one, is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid and this was gifted to me by Josephine. So thank you so much Josephine. I really enjoyed uh, this, not the seven, the seven Husbands of Eve Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and Six. I really enjoyed both of those books by her, so I really wanted to try out her new book. Uh, and I mean, I love this cover. And I've heard really good things from both Vish from Books with V and Sam from Griff Reads. Um, annoyingly, you can't take the sticker off, but it's stunning. It's such a pretty cover, and I'm really excited to get into it. <gasps> Look at those pretty end pages. Oh, wow. So pretty so pretty so thank you so much oh. oh that was very satisfying all in one go uh this is from sharon <laughs> her message was yay we made it through the olympic games readathon yes we did uh, the atlas six by olivia blake so sharon is one of my really good friends that i've met uh since starting booktube she is absolutely lovely and so so generous i will link her channel down below um and she has gifted me the uh, the atlas six this is a self-published book but i believe it's got a lot of buzz lately and it is my one of my friends angela she uh is one of her friends who's written this book um and it's going to be i believe we've got this slated in as the self-published in book for september it sounds really good i, I mean from what i've understood it was like a school setting with magic and like competition so yeah i'm definitely intrigued to see what 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 is in store with me with this book definitely interested and it'll be really great to read it with friends thank you sharon okay so this one is from blackwells and this is the lost queen by sydney pike uh, and this was from my lovely friend kate thank you kate you were so generous thank you thank you thank you and i know that this is a king arthur retelling about king arthur's sister and i never realized that king arthur had a sister like that just sounds so interesting to me i was like king arthur had a sister and we like n have never talked about it so i believe that that's what this is about and that it's like a fantasy inspiration it's like a fancy fantasy story with inspiration from king arthur and overall i've heard really good things about this and yeah i haven't really looked at this cover but i really like it i really like it uh so thank you oh and this is longer than i thought it was going to be like over 500 pages so thank you so much Kate I believe you've just read this and really enjoyed this so thank you this is from Evie she has given me Empire in Black and Gold by Adrian Tchaikovsky this is the body read book over on Alan's channel for so he's reading like one book a month starting in August and there's I think it's like a 10 book series but we're reading the first four I suppose that's an arc I was like okay I'll give it a go I'll give it a go I really like the cover I've just followed the Alan propaganda machine I don't know what it's about but uh we will we will we will see what it's about i've been getting excited about it because it seems to be like everyone's in the discord chatting about it everyone's really excited so i i definitely want to give this give this a try and i read adrian tchaikovsky's children of time and i liked it and i liked his writing style so i have high hopes that i will enjoy this as well and he's one of those authors which has tons of books out he has so so many books but like the only the only one anyone talks about on book Troop is children of time so it'd be great to see what the rest of his books are like uh, I believe this one's a fantasy. Uh, I mean, one man stands against the shadow of war. So we will see how this is. And um, thank you so, so much, Evie. I will link Evie's channel as well down below. She is so, so lovely. 
this one I, I picked it up I think I picked this one up yesterday from the concierge and it's so heavy I'm like really intrigued to see what book it is because it is so so heavy and I was like do I even own a book this heavy and I don't even know how to get into this package apparently I did have a book this heavy on my wishlist this book is heavy this is from Jessie from the bookish mum who is absolutely lovely and we both wrote on uh, the gift notes that it's been one year since we've met and how we can't believe that, it's, that we've been friends for over a year now uh, and she has gifted me a very very heavy book which is Dragon Mage by N.L. Spencer this is a Petrick recommendation like uh, and sh sh she wrote this book has a beautiful cover so you need it in your life and like yeah she's right it has a beautiful cover uh, and I know I've heard I've seen I've heard about the cover on the actual hardback so oh I'm so excited to read this like this is a very nicely made book for and I can't believe like it's a self-published book like it's so well made I mean I'm gonna have to prop this up on a cushion to read it because it's a uh, rather heavy but thank you so much Jesse. I, I don't even know that much about this apart from that it's got dragons and that Petrick recommends it so I mean I feel as that's all I really need to know before going into a book that it's got dragons and Petrick recommends it also I know I didn't realize this but ML I realized this like a few days ago um that ML Spencer is female I thought for some reason in my head she was male um, but I was like looking up on Instagram I was like that is not a man that's a woman uh so if you didn't know, ML Spencer is female. And now I know what was in the really heavy package because I was very curious. Because <laughs> I was like, are you shaking it around? I was like, there's only, that doesn't sound like multiple books. It sounds like one book, but what book do, is that heavy? So this is Dreamer's Pool by Juliette Marillier. Uh, and I really, really want to read a lot more Juliette Marillier uh, because I read Wild Wild Dancing and really enjoyed it. And now I really want to try out this series. and. I didn't realise how pretty this cover was. I mean, it, it looked pretty on the internet, but now seeing it in person, it's very, very pretty. A really, really pretty cover. Uh, and Alan would be pr like, he would be so happy. It's a mass market paperback and, and it's for a floppy one. Who would have thought a floppy mass market? I feel like this gift note might be cut off because it doesn't have a name on the end. It has a nice message, but it doesn't have a name. I did recognise there was a couple of packages that arrived with them. Um, uh, the packaging was a little bit wet and so I recognised that message because I opened those two packages because I was like oh I don't know if like it was only like slightly soggy on one side and I was like oh maybe I'll just like open it up so that the sogginess doesn't get onto the book um, and it's got the same message again as the one that came with this uh, except it, it still doesn't have the name on the end of it and that was uh, A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn and I've only heard such good things about it so I assume these came together but um in separate packages uh so thank you whoever you are but thank you so much i'm really excited to get to both of these speaking of ones which came slightly wet so i got them out and it, it seemed as though it was just the package that was i don't know if it was me when i was like bringing them into the kitchen or i don't know but the books were fine and uh this was from kate again and that is the invisible library by genevieve cogman and i love magical libraries so i believe that this is what I'm going to get from this. Uh, it's a magical library series about an invisible library. I mean, <laughs> you're not here for the big explanation of what these books are about, but thank you so much, Kate. You're so generous. We've got the satisfying one of these again. Oh dear. Oh no, that did make it all the way. Oh, oh, I really want to read this one. I really want to read this one. It's uh, Jade War by Fonda Lee, the second book in the Greenbone Saga. So I read Jade City last year and I've been looking forward to reading Jade War, uh, but the hardback hasn't been that easy to find in the UK. So I've been delaying putting it off because I've got the a very oversized paperback for the first one. And oh, I'm so excited to read this. I'm so excited to read this. Oh, oh, <laughs> but I was like, do I want to read this right now? Um, there isn't a gift note with this one. I predict, my prediction is this is from Charmaine, but I'm so excited to read this. So thank you, thank you so much. Uh, so if you got me this. I didn't realise that the, on the back of the Blackwell's packaging, the ones that come in the big cardboard, it has this uh, beautiful sign on it. Like, that's, that's so nice. They also all come with bookmarks and you can never have enough bookmarks in your life. This one is from my lovely friend Ina and it's like, this wasn't on your list but I had to get it for you. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm not even surprised because of how much like 
all of my friends have been enjoying this and so that is The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley and I've only heard really really good things about this book like only heard really really good things I I don't know if it's traditionally something that I would gravitate towards reading because I think it's a YA thriller so I, it's not something that I've like always been I've gravitated to I mean I've gravitated towards the cover because it is absolutely stunning um but like everyone has loved this book so uh, I have faith <laughs> in like all my friends uh and you know it's good to read outside of your comfort zone and what you like Thank you so much, Ina. This is from my lovely friend Ariel. It is Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Rowanhorse. I haven't read any Rebecca Rowanhorse yet uh, because I mean, like everyone read Black Sun last year, and I, and I didn't because I tried to not start Incomplete Series, and that one's only just come out, and I've heard it end on a big cliffhanger. Uh, this is her other series, and I believe this one is also not complete, but potentially it will be completed completed sooner than Black Sun. I don't know, but I'm really interested to try out her books because I've only heard good things. I've heard like how compulsively readable her books are. So that sounds really appealing to me. Uh, but thank you so, so much, Ariel. I'm really thankful for your friendship too. Uh, this is again from Ina. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ina. And I'm really excited to read this. It's the Jasmine Throne by Tasha Siri. So I absolutely, I really, really liked her duology, The um, Empire of Sand. Uh, yeah, The Empire of Sand. I really, really enjoyed that duology and this is her new release and I've only really heard really good things. Um, I think Angela from Literature Science Science was talking about this and how much she enjoyed it and so I'm very, very excited to get into this. It's Indian inspired and I really want to read more Indian inspired fantasy stories so I'm very excited to read this. So thank you, thank you so, so much. I'm, I'm already thinking, I don't know what I want to read. Like this is, this is definitely going to be impacting my, um, what I'm going to be reading in July because I'm going to want to be, I don't, I don't know what I want to read now. These are from Leslie who, she's wished a happy birthday a month. It's like, it's like I'm going to be celebrating all month. Oh, thank you, Leslie. And she has gifted me the, the I, I was like, look at these going, I'm sure these are out of order. And yes, they're out of order. The, uh, mm, the Winter King series by Bernard Cornwell. Uh, this is yet again a King Arthur retelling or King Arthur books. Um, and yet again, I saw these on Petrick's uh, channel or Pet I saw like Petrick had Goodreads reviews up for them and how much he loved them and how they were his favourite King Arthur retelling. So I'm really excited to give these a go. Uh, but I was looking at them and I was like, I'm sure The Winter King is the first one. And they put that one in the middle. Uh, but yeah, it says book one, book two, book three. Yet again, Alan will be very happy that these are mass, ma mass markets. I hope they're floppy uh so yeah as i really want to try out king arthur books this i thought was like a must read and everyone talks about bernard cornwell i've not read any of his books but a lot of people praise him and he has a lot of books out uh and i was thinking i might do like a king arthur vlog and read lots of king arthur books oh we've got another one of these oh, oh. <laughs> finally oh there's two uh these are from katrina um so thank you so so much Katrina and she has gifted me Wild Seed by Octavia E Butler. I really really like I really liked Kindred. I really I really liked Kindred when I read it in May and so I wanted to try out more Octavia E Butler books and I believe Wild Seed is the first one in this paternist series. I've heard talk about how it's like bizarrely like it was written in a you read it in a weird order to what it was written in uh, but um this was the books by her that I sounded the most interesting to me after Kindred so this is what I'm after. I also love, I think I saw them when I was in sh shopping in Blackbars and all the orange covers together look absolutely stunning. Uh, so she gifted me this and she also gifted me a very chunky book, uh, The Ember Blade by Chris Wooding and I am very excited to read this. I think we've talked about body reading this because we've all, we all want to read it and we all really like the uh, the very very blue cover uh, and I saw a review on Sarah Reed's channel and she completely sold it to me but I did not know how chunky it was it's like over over 800 pages so rather long um a commitment uh but yeah very excited to be both of these and thank you so so much Katrina I'll link uh Katrina's inst if anyone's got channels or instagrams or anything I will link them all below to check out because they're all lovely lovely people oh this is from Sharon again <laughs> Sharon you are so generous uh, she has gifted me uh, Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. So I read K.A. Tucker, one of her books. Uh, yeah, so I read The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker a couple of, last year, a couple of years ago, uh, which is a contemporary romance. 
but this is a fantasy romance. I didn't even realise that she had fantasy romance books out and I was like, oh my god, Kay Tucker has a fantasy romance. That's it. And it sounds really, really good. And I mean, I must have seen like for fans of Sarah J Maas and Jennifer Alamatran. I was like, oh, oh, yes. And I mean, it has the iconic like format of a blank or blank and blank. <laughs> but, uh, and I do really like the cover. So yeah, I definitely, because I really, really enjoyed the fantasy romance subgenre, I definitely want to try out more of it. Um, and this one sounded, sounded really good. And thank you so much, Sharon. I don't know if you, I can like, I don't know how I can show it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. There's multiple books in here. These are all from my friend Zara. Okay, so Zara has uh, it has definitely got me some rather long books, <laughs> some rather long books. Uh, so she got me The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. So this is the start of the, is it the Paternus? No, the, not the Paternus, the Lacanius trilogy. Uh, and this was the Chelsea's Body Read book for the month of April, I believe. And Jessie really liked it. And I trust in Jessie. Um, and so I just thought, it, I wasn't prepared to read it in April, but I definitely want to read it at some point and uh, yeah, very excited to give this a try. She also got me A Promise of Fire, not quite so chunky, by Amanda Boucher, which is a fantasy romance. Very excited to read more fantasy romance. And then she has also got me a book that I've been... Oh, I didn't realise how chunky this was. I mean, I knew it was chunky, but I didn't know it was that chunky. She got me Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb, which I'm sure some people will be very happy about. I've been very on the fence on if I want to read this, but I decided it's time to give Robin Hobb another try. Like I wasn't a massive fan of Assassin's Apprentice when I read it many years ago. Part of me does, because of now the, this was before any hype on booktube, I just thought she was going to be for me. I thought I was going to read all the Robin Hobb and then I read Assassin's Apprentice and I never got any further. But then in the past year, I've seen so many people loving her books and I thought it's okay, I'll give her another try, but I'll try the uh, Ship of Magic series. Uh, so I'm definitely excited to give this a go and I feel like the plot of this sounds a lot more interesting to me than Assassin's Apprentice so I am definitely ex it's excited and intrigued to give her a second chance and I was thinking I might do like a giving authors second chances vlog and this would definitely fit although it would take up a lot of time because it's very chunky. Thank you so much so so much Zara for these books and for definitely giving me some very chunky fantasy series to read. This again Ina thank you so so much. She Got me Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I guess uh, I guess I'm going to be reading some Rebecca Roanhorse because now I have two of her series to start. And yeah, very I'm very excited to give her a try. Like, I feel like she's going to be for me. I feel like we're going to get along. Um, but yeah, very very excited to read this. Thank you so so much, Ina. It's a it's another box that I'm struggling to open. This is uh, not. I anticipated this one. I'm sorry, your gift note got a bit crumpled. Uh, this is from Joanna, my friend, and she has gifted me the First Law Trilogy uh, by Gerard Crombie. I've been really wanting to read this. I've been nervous because like Grimdark isn't normally my thing, but well, not normally, I, it's not like, I just don't know if it's my thing. I, I don't really know Grimdark, I don't, I don't know it. I will be giving it a try. This is one of Joanna's favorite series. Again, Patrick loves it. I was contemplating as well doing like a Grimdark vlog and like reading Grimdark books and see if I like the genre, like it like my deep dive into sci-fi, but deep dive into grimdark. So thank you. Thank you so, so much, Joanna. Meeting you was one of the best things that, that happened to me in the last year as well. Thank you. That one was very satisfying. Sharon, Sharon, what are you doing? Uh, so Sharon has gifted me the Song of Blood and Stone by Elle Penelope. I saw this on like the World Hoppers fantasy romance video. So you want to try more fantasy romance because I know I like the genre. And she's just written, I know this one is from the World Hoppers video. So yeah, we both watched that video. And she also gifted me The Lost Queen. So I do have ended up. Thank you both Sharon and Kate for The Lost Queen. Um, obviously you both really want me to read this book. So thank you so, so much for both of these. Sharon, you're so generous. Um, oh, no, this, this one has no note. I mean, Sharon just said that something wouldn't let her add a note. So maybe that but and it wasn't on my wishes but you've obviously been <laughs> thank you to whoever gifted me this puzzle because i love puzzles i love love puzzles and i mean a puzzle of a bookshelf yes yes i mean it looks absolutely beautiful like oh i'm gonna i can't do this today but oh i'm gonna, I'm gonna look forward to doing this oh this is gonna be so much fun oh it's so pretty 
thank you to whoever gifted me this. I hope it's going to be, I'm going to have a lot of fun. And then the final, is this another puzzle? If it is another puzzle, I didn't like plan to say puzzles to the end, that's just been, it is another puzzle. This is just pure coincidence. Like, how does this happen? I, I didn't plan this. I didn't plan the puzzles to be again. Oh, it's stuff in the box. Thank you so, so much. This puzzle is stunning. It's stunning. It's a power. It's a, the Eiffel Tower. <sighs> my second, well, not my second home, but where I wish I could be. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, oh, now I don't know which puzzle I want to do. <sighs> Thank you so, so much. So since filming the book haul last weekend, I've received a few more presents in the mail over the past week. So I just, as a, I just thought I would add them in now at the end of the video. So I received Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier. This was sent to me by my lovely friend, Jessie May. Uh, so thank you so, so much, Jessie. I'm really looking forward to this. And now I have two Juliette Marillier books to read. So definitely need to be reading more and more Juliette Marillier. I am so excited to dive into her work. And this cover is absolutely stunning. I love it so much. When I was looking at the covers for this series, I was like, no, I don't like it. Don't like it, don't like it. And then I saw these covers and I was like, oh, I love it. So these covers are absolutely stunning. So I'm really excited to get into this. I received Fury Born by Claire Legrand. This was sent to me by Alan from the Library of Alexandria and his wife, Christina. So thank you so, so much for this. I'm really surprised that you picked a YA book off my list, Alan. Like I expected you to pick one of the adult books and you picked a very, very YA book from what I know of this. Uh, and I believe this is like set, you have like two queens set a thousand years apart. One's, one's good, one's evil. Um, but I've heard really, really good things about this series. So I'm really excited to get into it. Thank you so, so much, Alan. My friend Sam sent me The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, another series I'm very, very excited to get into. I believe this one is like uh, modern day New York and magic. Uh, magic is all but extinct, but they send someone back into the past to try and save the future of magic, which sounds really, really cool. And I'm very, very excited to dive into this. It's a trilogy. I know it's all published now. Uh, I've heard really, really great things about this. So thank you so, so much, Sam. My friend Vish over at Books with V sent me Middle Game by Seanan Maguire, another one that I've been really excited to read for ages. I read like the first two books in the way with children's series by Seanan Maguire and I didn't know if they were me, but I wanted to give her another try. And I've heard really great things about this book by her. It's a standalone, like, I don't know if it's a fantasy or a sci-fi with these twins called Roger and Dodger, or are they twins or are they clones or something? Uh, but I'm very, very intrigued about it. It sounds creepy and bizarre and dark. So yes, thank you so, so much, Vish. Uh, my friend Sophia sent me Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. This is one of her favourite series, well, or it's one of her series that she really likes. It's a middle grade series and I think there's like nine books. There's a lot of books, but I believe they're very fun and easy to read. And uh, I mean, the text is quite large, so I think I would fly through them. And I don't read that much middle grade. Like it's just not a genre that, not a genre, it's just not a demographic that I have really actively read from. And we were talking, I can't remember what video it was in, whether it was on a reading sprint on her channel. It was in a, a reading sprint. Uh, we were talking about this series and how much she enjoys it and how fun it is. So I'm very excited to give some middle grade a try and start with this series. And then the final book that I have received recently is uh, Upon a Burning Throne by Ashok K. Banker. Uh, and this was sent to me by Kissy Reads. So I'll link her channel as well down below. Everyone's channels will be linked. This has a stunning cover. And I heard about this on Starla's channel like ages ago uh, and how much she loved it. And then recently Jessie May talked about how much she enjoyed it. So I'm very excited to give this a go. I definitely want to read more Indian inspired fantasies. And I believe this is, I believe this is inspired by the Mahabharata, which I think is like an Indian epic poem. To rule the empire, you have to pass this test. And like, two of the princes passed the test, but then a girl from a, ran like, a random kingdom or like a girl who they didn't expect passes the test as well. Uh, and it goes from there. But I've heard really great things. I'm very excited to get into this. Thank you, thank you so, so much, Ali, for giving me that to me. So those are the final ones that I've just got adding on to the book haul. So back to past Abby. I'm, I'm overwhelmed, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. <laughs> thank you so, so much for anyone that gifted me a book for my birthday uh, and thank you 
thank you thank you thank you to everyone that watches my videos that is a birthday present in itself uh but yeah that, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a gift for me thank you to everyone that gifted me books like thank you so 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 much i am now going to struggle figuring out where i put all these books because <laughs> they're not gonna fit on here um but thank you all so so much and thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my future videos bye